<clears throat> yeah, starting the jack. The, the Huey injectors are um, put in the head. Uh, they, they operate at very high pressure, so the engine is alloy, so the fittings are all put in with the uh, steel inserts, you know, so these uh, round sleeves are pressed into the head and they've got O-rings behind them that separate them from uh, oil and cooling water because the fuel injectors are um, lubricated by engine oil and also they're cooled by the engine coolant so these O-rings separate out all the um, various fluids and what happens is with these engines is that uh, the material that those O-rings from made from has been changed because it's not right, you know. So this one has got the fault that the water from the cooling system is getting into the engine and you can see this white smoke here which will come out in volume of smoke when the engine's a little warmer. Here's a symptom of there being water in the diesel fuel. You notice it's, it's running smoother now, it's idling at about what? 750, up, uh, 750 up, yeah, which is uh, standard specification. Um, the engine's warmed up a little. Uh, so if I, I don't know whether you can see this, you can see out there, no you can't, you know, let the camera adjust. No. that the whole street filled up with white smoke it's white smoke okay uh, here we are um, how do you diagnose what's wrong with a jackaroo people seem to have a lot of trouble with this you know uh, it's, it's diesel and instead of there being external uh, common rail here for the um, fuel injection it's inside it's in the head and instead of being powered by the pressurized fuel it's actually powered by the pressurized oil that's down here which looks like it you can't see it it looks like a fuel injection pump there is actually a high pressure oil pump and it pumps up oil into the head here on a separate line at 400 pounds a square inch the way you determine what's actually going on with your 4JX1 diesel engine is you've got fresh new oil in here well I have and you take this fella out, the dipstick, and you have a smell of it. Okay? Okay. I'm smelling it. Now what I smell, is I smell oil of course, because it is oil. But also I can smell diesel fuel in it. So, this is, uh, hasn't, it's only been for a short run up the road. And I length for probably about half an hour and it's got diesel fuel in the engine oil which is diluting it by the way um, and that's not a very happy situation but of course um, what it means is that the seals in the head you saw the white smoke going out of the exhaust which is clearing now it's gone off down the street it's that have gone and what's happened is that the, the cooling water is passing by those seals and it's going into the cylinders and it's passing through and it's coming up as white smoke in the exhaust and the engine's rough he won't do more than about two and a half thousand RPM, three thousand. The thing is very low in power when you go along the street, although it's still got a lot of torque in it. Um, after a while it starts to behave even weirder uh, as the fault gets worse and it leaks more or it stops or whatever, you know. It's the nature of all leaks, an intermittent leak. Uh, but additionally this one is um, in another part of the injector body. It's also leaking diesel fuel and it's getting into the uh, engine oil. No. Now this is classic 4JX1 turbo diesel problem and I can actually fix it by just taking this um, stuff here, the uh, turbocharging, the cooler off, which is quite easy, there's only rubber hoses and four bolts, and uh, I can take the, the rocker cover off, so I can get to the head and use a special tool to get those injectors out, which I'd have to make, but you can make one out of a 16mm. Uh, a bolt with an extension rod welded to, to it to make a puller, you know, or you, you can get hold of the proper Isuzu tool and that's fantastic.
and there may be other faults for example the wiring harness to the injectors actually goes down you can see that it goes down there and actually goes inside the head there's wires electrical wiring inside the head surrounded by engine oil and the engine heat and uh, it, it's made of special plastic of course it would be designed by a very clever bunch of Japanese engineers but I think I should check that and there's a pressure switch inside here on the oil rail all these connections here there might be a cracked head in this and that's the other thing the same fault that's producing white white smoke in the exhaust and diesel fuel in the engine oil is uh, can also be explained by blown head gasket by a cracked cylinder head or by a cracked block no, these are a lovely vehicle yeah I bet you've got to get to know them and believe me in this hot climate I'll be getting this air conditioner running too we'll regas that anyway